our class party time. Excellent. Excellent. Woo! Ciao or buongiorno or buonasera, however you want to say it in Italian. It's Mr. Henley and other Mr. Henley, and we're mm. here for another art video. We're going to try and do, since we just found out today that school is going to be online for the rest of this school year, we're going to try and do maybe an art video once a week. We'll do some art history, we'll do some art projects, we'll have some just strange toys jumping into the, to the scene. And uh, today we're going to learn about a guy named Frank Stella. We'll do a little art history today and a project. Frank Stella was born in 1936 and he lives in New York City. He's a painter and a sculptor, and so are you. All right, this is the first time I'm trying to do a screen capture video recording, so hopefully this will turn out all right. You should be able to see a picture right here, which is by Frank Stella. It's geometric, so that means it's made entirely out of shapes. It's not really a realistic picture looking like a, a person or a place or a thing. It's purely geometric abstract. It was made in 1967. It's called Haran II by Frank Stella. It's part of his Protractor series. And this picture is enormous. It's 10 by 20 feet, which if you have a garage door or if you've seen a garage door, a typical double garage door is a little bit smaller than 10 by 20 feet. So this is a very big painting. Now, it's called the Protractor series because he used a protractor to design it, which is a tool that some of you may have used in math class before. But basically, he just used the same repeating shape to create a, an interesting design. And then he added all sorts of subtle colors to it. It's not really super bright colors, except for this yellow right here. A lot of them are kind of subdued. And we're going to try and make a project that's sort of modeled after this idea. We're going to find some objects in our kitchens, things that we could use that might have interesting shapes that we could trace. And uh, I wouldn't suggest trying to do a 10 foot by 20 foot painting with this. I think we're going to try and just go with regular office size paper. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Gavin over here and Mr. Henley right here. We're going to show you how to use some common objects you might have in your kitchen, like this domestic diva spatula. SpongeBob, I think, would probably like that. Pizza slicer. It's not really sharp, so don't worry. Spoon. I don't think we really generally have tape in the kitchen, but it's close by the kitchen. And we're going to use Sharpie, kind of like when I'm drawing in the art room. It's really hard to see pencil when you're recording it. So Gavin's got a black Sharpie. I've got a purple. And uh, what do you want to start with? What do you want to use this um, spatula or the spoon? Spatula. All right, you're using this okay. domestic diva. All right, so whenever you're tracing stuff, well, it's important that you just set it down and hold it still, just like we've traced stuff like, before. Like this. Also, be careful if you're using a Sharpie to trace things Don't that you're not it. marking all over your parents' kitchen tools. But uh, basically what we're going to do on this paper is just set things down okay. and trace them. Alright, so Change. we've got one thing. Now, we could trade, and yeah. we, like Frank Stilla did, we're just going to try and make some geometric patterns, something interesting. You could overlap them. That's what I'm going to do here. You could run them close by each other. And remember, we're not really making realistic art. We're making abstract art, which is purely shapes, lines, space, color, all the elements of art put together to make something interesting. Ooh, this spatula is kind of hard to trace. I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the spoon next. I'm going to overlap it over here. You doing the pizza cutter? Yeah. Excellent. We're just trying to kind of move around the paper. Try and fill it. Oh, that made a nice noise. Try and make something interesting designs. And if you mess up, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Just like the Art for Kids Hub guy always says, remember, just have fun. 
I think I liked this tape the best, honestly. Yeah, it is the best. I think I'm going to go with that some more. I'm going to make some more stick. circles. Ooh, you get some small circles. That's a great idea. Half circles. And what happens when you overlap the shapes on top of each other? What do you get in these other spaces? More shapes. You get new shapes, yeah. I think I'll use this uh, battery charger for a phone. Hopefully I won't draw on it too much. Oh, yeah. I'll try and keep the sharpie to the outside edge of it. Otherwise, we're gonna end up with a whole lot of purple stuff. Which I guess wouldn't be too bad. Purple's a nice color, right? And then if you want, so, you don't have to trace it, you can just do your own shapes. You could, but remember, we're trying to do just geometric, so yeah. I know you like to draw pictures a whole lot. And I'm really own shapes. good at it, but uh, we're just sticking with geometric abstraction. Ooh, that's weird when you trace the piece of color, the wheel kind of spins. Did it do that to you? I didn't even trace it. Yeah? It looked like the wheel's turning while I'm tracing it. Oh, strange. Oops. Oh, it's like a... Bit. Made a little overlap there. Oh, that looks like the letter G. Yeah. Forget it. Okay, I think I'm my paper's filling up pretty nicely here. How's yours? Good. All right. I'm I making think this thing. Maybe just a couple more. And then instead of like fast forwarding the color like they do on a lot of the other high tech YouTube channels, oh, yeah, we're, uh, we're just going to color it and then do a video. Uh, you know, we're just going to cut. Simpler edit, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think I'm about ready for color. How about it's you? Yeah. Ooh, I really like those little ones in there. They're kind of like eyes. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll like see you when things are colored. All right, so here we have it. We've got the finished products colored, and you can see what's so neat about art. And one thing that I always like so much about it is that Gavin and I did both the same project, the same instructions, the same tracing, even a lot of the same materials, and they look completely different. And that's what's supposed to happen in art is that a bit of your personality comes out in your work. So, what do you have, Gavin? Uh, the Tiki Fly. It is a monster from the jungle, and yeah. It's fantastic. And I have a colorful thing, <laughs> which looks pretty neat also. And, and you can look at abstract art from many different angles, which is kind of fun about it. All right, so thanks for joining us for another art project. Like I said, we'll try and do one of these probably once a week. Yeah. Some of them probably be doing some art history like today, and some will just be making art. And if or... you want to see more art, check out um, my channel, Gavin Henley, where it has um, videos of things. He's been making a card game, which is really cool, and we'll have to probably do an art project on that too. Mm -hmm. so. It's called um, Realm of Darkness. Thanks for joining us. Subscribe, like, comment, and make smart. Bye. Bye.